सो हेलो माई डियर स्टूडेंट हाउ आर यू आई होप ऑल ऑफ यूर वर एंड डूइंग गुड लेट स्टार्ट टूडे सेशन टूडे इज लेक्चर नंबर टूडे इज लेक्चर नंबर फोर्टीन ओके एंड वी आर डिस्कसिंग वेल्डिंग एंड दिस इज अ फोर्थ लेक्चर ऑफ वेल्डिंग राइट नाउ लेट स्टार्ट सो टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू कवर द रजिस्टेंस वेल्डिंग and other welding techniques and the defects of welding so almost we are going to cover welding okay in today's session right so let me start with the topic of resistance welding is that is resistance seam welding right resistance seam welding resistance seam welding right resistance seam welding now what is going to be happen in resistance seam welding basically let me draw a figure there will be a rotating uh, there will be a overlapping plate this is a overlapping plate my dear right there will be a overlapping plate and there will be a rotating disc right this is a rotate this is a disc and this is a another disc right and this disc is right rotating basically instead of electrode there will be a disc right and it is obvious that there is a transformer as you can see let me draw right this disc is rotating yeah see this right so there will be a transformer basically right i mean so there will be a transformer so current is supplied so what is going to be happen now my dear instead of electrode there will be a rotating disc right here instead of electrode there will be a rotating disc weld is made between overlapping sheet of metal there will be a overlapping sheet of metal there will be a overlapping sheet of metal this is nothing that it is overlapping sheet of metal right over lapping sheet of metal sheet of metal overlapping sheet of metal right this is overlapping sheets of sheets of metal right this is overlapping sheets of metal so this is overlapping sheets of metal right so the seam basically the seam is what resistance seam welding is what basically here series of overlapping spots weld right there will be a series of overlapping spot like this right like this right like this right like this so overlapping spots are going to be what produce here right so here my dear friend this is what this is the overlapping spot of i hope my voice is clear there will be a series of overlapping spot weld right series of overlapping overlapping right you can see a series of overlapping okay spot weld spot weld spot welds right so in resistance seam welding there will be a overlapping plate and there will be a rotating disc instead of electrode there will be a rotating disc they are applying the pressure and the current is passing through the rotating disc and uh, plate and series of overlapping spots are going to be what okay uh, produces here the equipment is same equipment is same as for spot welding except that electrodes are what rotating disc so here you can write that instead of instead of electrodes instead of electrode instead okay in, instead 
just a minute instead of electrode okay instead of electrode in instead of electrode of electrode okay there will there is a rotating disk there is a rotating disk right so these are the some points which you should remember in okay in, uh, remember in resistance seam welding right in other process a continuous seam is produces by passing a continuous current through the rotating electrode here the speed of the electrode is 1.5 nearby 1.5 meter per minute for a thin sheet right for a thin sheet now let's move to the next uh, topic there will be a projection welding okay the next welding is your projection welding projection welding projection welding projection welding right projection welding my dear hello all of you okay so projection welding is what let me explain the projection welding okay in projection welding basically what is going to be happen so uh, first of all let me tell you the limitation of uh, spot welding right here i am going to tell you the limitation of spot welding first right limitation of spot welding first right there is the limitation of limitation of limitation of spot welding right limitation of spot welding what is the limitation of spot welding only one spot is going to be produced in spot welding right what is the limitation only one spot right only one spot how you can see from the figure there is a overlapping plate my dear right there is a overlapping plate and there will be a electrode this is the electrode right this is the electrode and only one spot we will get this is the limitation this is the limitation right now for additional strength multiple welds welds are needed spot welding limitation of spot welding are what only one spot we can get right at a at a time for additional strength if you want a additional strength then you have to move the electrode at the another place and you have to make another joint okay in another cycle so it will take a time to overcome this limitation to overcome this limitation my dear right to overcome this limitation to overcome this limitation to overcome this limitation to overcome over come this limitation this limitation okay projection welding comes projection projection welding okay comes projection welding will overcome this limitation my dear right projection welding will overcome this uh, uh, this thing now what is the thing there is one there is a plate right there is a plate this is a plate now there will be a uh, there will be some projections let me show you there will be some projection like this okay like this these projection are made by either some machining or either some casting on this plate right now another plate is going to be placed over over another plate right now there will be a electrode my dear there will be a electrode of large size there will be a electrode of large size see 
there will be a electrode of large size this is a large size of the electrode right this is a large size of the electrode this is a large size of the electrode this is a large size of the electrode you can see this is a large size of the electrode right now we are applying the pressure now we are applying the pressure okay we are applying the pressure here see here we are applying the pressure along with that current is going to be applied so at this zone at this zone right at this zone what is going to be happen at this zone my dear dimples are embosses right here dimples are embosses right here dimples are embosses so at this zone fusion will be happen dimples are embossed on work piece at the weld location and and then place between large area electrode and pressure and current applied like a spot welding so let me write down here what we are going to do dimples are embossed dimples are embossed right dimples are embossed dimples are what dimples are embossed okay dimples are embo embossed dimples are embossed on work piece at the weld location on work piece on work piece okay on work piece on work piece at the weld location at the weld location right at the weld location now when the current is passes here please please see here at this location the the heat is going to be developed right the heat is going to be developed so at this location the joint are going to be formed right so after after the after the process what is going to be happen what is going to be happen a multiple joint is going to produce at a at a time right a multiple joint is going to be produces at a time my dear so here you can see here you can see so what is going to be happen current right current flows through the dimples right let me show you here what is going to be happen current flows through the dimples and heats them here heats them because of current and resistance the the heat is going to be produced heats them and pressure causes the dimple this pressure my dear please see this pressure this pressure okay and pressure causes the dimple to flatten and form a weld and form a weld so after that these joint are going to be what produces right so projections are basically pressed form in any shape how you can make the projection now maybe you can ask sir this is the plate and you have shown us a projection right maybe you can ask sir you have shown this projection sir how can we make this projection on the plate projection are pressed form in any shape like forming forging right by using forging process by using uh, casting process by using machining process you can make these projections right you can make this projection is that point is clear is that point is clear i hope this point is clear now let me move to the upset welding right let me move to the upset welding my dear let me move to the upset welding let me move to the upset welding right so here is the upset welding here is the upset welding let me move to the upset welding my dear upset welding what is upset welding first of all upset welding basically made here we are going to make a butt joint compared to lap joint right here pieces are held tightly and current is applied let me show you let me show you let me show you right this is the 
portion where we are keeping right and this is the rod where we are keeping it right now this is the another rod so i'm making it different color right and we are applying the pressure right we are applying the pressure so pieces are held tightly and current is applied right pieces are held tightly and current is applied here right so let me write down pieces pieces are held tightly okay pieces are held tightly right pieces are held tightly and current is applied and current is applied right and current is what current is applied pieces are held tightly and current is applied now what is going to be happen due to pressure joints get slightly upset right and hence its name is upset here current is going to be apply right here current is flowing so at the interface the heat is going to be generated at the interface the heat is going to be generated now you applied the pressure also now you have you applied the pressure also because of the pressure what is going to be happen this zone is going to be what heat up right heat up and because of the pressure this metal will go in outward direction this metal will go in outward direction this metal will go in outward direction right this metal will go in outward direction are you getting my point this metal will go in the outward direction okay so due to pressure joint gets slightly upset that's why its name is what upset welding so generally we are going to form a butt joint here the butt joint we are going to produce right here this is what this is a butt joint right this is a butt joint instead of lap joint so made butt joint compared to lap joint right made butt joint butt joint compared to compare to compare to made butt joint compared to lap joint compared to lap joint right made butt joint compared to lap joint is that clear made butt joint compared to lap joint is that clear any doubt is there so this is what this is the but uh, this is a upset welding in a similar fashion i am going to explain flash welding right flash welding so here i am going to explain the flash welding please try to understand a uh, flash welding right flash welding flash welding my dear what is the flash welding here we are produces the heat in between the rod right but but with uh, but by using arc so it is similar to upset welding please remember this point please remember this point right this welding is just like similar to what similar to your similar to the previous one right similar to the previous one so let me write down it is similar to upset welding it is similar to upset welding to upset welding it is similar to upset welding except the arc right except except the arc right except the arc except the arc right except the arc rather than resistance heating rather than rather than resistance heating rather than resistance heating right 
rather than resistance setting is that point is clear yes or no is that point is clear if the point is not clear let me explain you again my dear here this is the one electrode right which is fixed with respect to uh, which is fixed okay which is fixed right which is fixed right which is fixed right which is fixed right now there will be a another electrode right there is a another electrode now it is a movable right so there is a cam and follower cam and follower with respect to uh, because of cam and follower this electrode is movable now when you touch the electrode the current is flowing right and when you separate it by a small distance when you separate it by a small distance then arc is going to be produced then arc is going to be produced in between them right then the arc is going to be produced in between them when the arc is stabilized and the sufficient zone is going to be melt okay and heat up when the sufficient zone is going to be heat up then what we do we apply the pressure right we apply the pressure okay we apply the pressure and because of that pressure what is going to be happen the metal right the metal okay fused to each other okay confused to each other and because of the pressure my dear because of the pressure here right because of the pressure the metal will flow in a outward direction the metal will flow in a outward direction is that clear so here one piece is clamped here you can see here one piece is clamped with the cam and control uh, control movable uh, platen and other other with a fixed uh, platen this is a fixed piece and this is a movable piece with the with the help of cam and follower with the help of cam and follower right now similarly i am going to discuss the percussion welding i am going to discuss the percussion welding my dear so let me write down the name of percussion welding right percussion welding percussion welding percussion welding right percussion welding in percussion welding what is going to be happen this is similar to the flash welding except arc power by rapid discharge of store stored electrical energy basically what is going to be happen similar thing is going to be happen here we are going to fix one of the one of the work piece okay fixed here one of the work piece become what fixed my dear this is one of the work piece and this is another work piece this is the another work piece it is movable my dear it is movable try to understand it is movable right but it is attached with the let me draw let me draw a circuit diagram little bit let me draw a circuit diagram little bit there will be a capacitor a storage device right there will be a capacitor basically a storage device capacitor right capacitor is there so once the capacitor is going to charge right then what we do we move the electrode and the circuit is closed after that after that we separate this we separate that okay with a small distance an arc is produces an arc is produces in between them an arc is produces in between them right an arc is produces in between them right the duration the arc duration is very small let me write down one point here let me write down one point here right let me write down one point here let me write down one point here okay here similar to flash welding it is similar to flash welding similar to flash welding it is similar to flash welding my dear right except arc power except 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 e x uh, e x c e p t sorry 
E X C E P T except the arc power right except the arc power my dear by a rapid discharge of by a rapid discharge of by a by a rapid discharge of by a rapid discharge of what by a rapid discharge of stored electrical energy stored electrical energy stored electrical energy is that point clear is that point is clear now the arc duration is very small here right the arc duration is very small the arc duration is only the arc duration is only here the arc duration is very small right here the arc duration the arc duration is how much 1 second no 1 to 10 millisecond 1 to 10 milli second this is the arc duration so heat is intense and he highly concentrated okay so you can say that sir because of that what is what going to happen heat is intense heat is intense right heat is intense intense and heat is intense and highly concentrated and highly concentrated concentrated right so when the heat is produced then you apply the pressure then you apply the pressure okay here we are not going to heat the workpiece okay uh, compared to flash welding so the zone is not going to be heat up up to a large level so that's why when you apply the pressure so that's why when you apply the pressure the fusion or melted zone will not go in the outward direction okay so little bit upsetting is there here small weld metal is produced okay so a small weld metal is produced little or no upsetting and low heat affected zone here heat affected zone is what low here heat affected zone is what low my dear right here heat affected zone is low heat affected zone is low so i hope percussion welding is little bit clear to every one any doubt regarding to the percussion welding my dear any doubt regarding to the percussion welding let me discuss the other welding technique right let me discuss the other welding technique okay let me discuss the other welding technique okay there are lot of welding other welding technique but i am going to discuss only a important one right other welding technique other welding technique right other welding technique other welding technique so what is the other welding technique my dear first of all the first welding technique which i am going to discuss that is your thermit welding right number 1 number 1 is your thermit welding so let me discuss the thermit welding first number 1 thermit welding thermit welding right thermit welding now in thermit welding what we do in thermit welding my dear in thermit welding basically heating and coolness heating and coolnessness is by superheated molten metal which is obtained by which is obtained from a chemical reaction right there will be a chemical reaction my dear there will be a chemical there will be a chemical reaction right 
basically what is going to be happen there is a box right this is a box in that box chemical reaction is going to be happen metal oxide chemical reaction in between what in between metal oxide metal oxide in between metal oxide plus plus metal reducing agent plus metal reducing agent plus metal reducing agent right plus metal reducing agent so metal oxide is what basically metal oxide generally we take fe fe 3o4 and metal reducing agent that is what aluminum right aluminum so there will be a chemical reaction in between this right when you supply the arc when the arc when you supply a spark then a reaction is going to happen in between that and what is the reaction let me show you the reaction here the reaction is here the reaction is here a reaction is the reaction is there will be a aluminum as i told you right plus fe3o4 okay when you react this metal oxide and metal reducing agent then you will get iron in the molten state plus aluminum oxide al2o3 plus heat right now if you are going to balance then here eight times of aluminum here three times of your uh, metal uh, 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 oxide and nine times of your again iron this is a nine on eight so four four to the eight right so now it is almost balanced so you will get this in the molten state my dear you will get this in the molten state so this will be in the molten state okay first of all let me write down this is what this is the filler metal this is the filler metal let me write down this is what this is the filler metal right this will act as a this will act as a filler metal right this will act as a filler molten metal or filler metal right filler metal and this will act as a slag this will act as a slag right and both of them are off okay why a spark beta beta you provide the spark a uh, initial spark okay a uh, initial spark you are going to provide so the chemical reaction is going to be begun right no no current my dear generally a spark let's say you have taken a match 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 box right you have taken the match box now you just a spark a spark a stick and you just put in the box you just put a box right you just put that spark into a box are you getting my just like a lighter my dear okay lighter you just ignite a stick and you put into the box and what happened because of that the chemical reaction is going to be begun right chemical reaction is going to be begun right now both of them are of what molten state they are in molten state they are in molten state right they will they are in molten state is that point is clear they are in molten state okay so because they are molten state and filler metal it is more denser than a slag so here the filler metal will come out first and generally this is used to join the railway track my dear this is a track right this is a track okay this is a track now here of this filler metal my dear this filler metal will come down come down come down and it will fill in between the railway track it will fill in between the railway track right it will fill in between the railway track after that what what happen a slag will come a slag will come and and it covered the liquid metal so this is the filler metal 
my dear this is what this is the filler metal this is the filler metal this is a filler metal right this is the filler metal this is the filler metal right filler metal right this is a filler metal and this is what this is a slag this is what this is a slag so this is a thing overall i hope this point is clear yes use for boron use boron peroxide also okay so i hope this thing is clear so here the mixture of aluminium dear it is recommended that you should learn the major component right there are various type of component which you can use right to activate the reaction but at the time of exam if you if you forget those component then why are you then it is useless na so it is recommended my dear that you should learn only important component okay which which which, which will be helpful in your exam right so these are the major component which you always remember right which you always remember so i hope this point is clear so generally this type of welding is used where in remote location this type of welding will be used to join the railway track to join the railway track okay to join the railway track this type of welding will be used this type of welding will be used to join the railway track right to join the railway track okay to join railway track railway track in remote location in remote location in remote location are you getting my point in remote location so the thermite welding is clear yes or no tell me is that thermite welding is clear yes is that thermite welding is clear now next welding which i am going to discuss is electro slag welding right next welding which i am going to discuss is electro slag welding see here electro slag welding next welding is for the next welding is electro electro slag welding right electro slag welding is that clear electro slag welding now the electro slag welding electro slag welding generally used to join the thick section thick section like what like uh, let me let me give you let me give you the application of this welding first of all like ship building the thick wall of the ship right machine manufacturing thick wall of the machine heavy pressure vessels which have a thick wall okay large castings okay are going to join by this operation so let me write down the application first because in the exam examiner will ask application first right examiner will ask application first so basically here i am going to write the application first <coughs> application first right here i'm going to write the application first ship building right ship ship building right ship building s h i p b u i l t i n g right ship building or heavy pressure vessels heavy pressure vessels heavy pressure vessel right heavy pressure vessels okay they are going to be joined basically here we are going to join here we are going to join the the joint in between them is what the joint in between them is what the joint is basically a thick section right very effective for welding thick section very effective 
very effective very effective very effective to join thick section thick section let me show you suppose that there will be a this is a work piece right <coughs> <coughs> this is a work piece my dears please see this is a work piece right see here see now see here i'm going to try that here i'm going to try the make the 3d figure so that you can understand right so that you can understand the thing right so that you can understand the thing Please see. Please see. Right. So you can see the section is what thick. Right. The section is what thick. Now below that we are going to place. a a plate a starting plate there will be a starting plate my dear right there will be a starting plate right below there there will be a starting plate right there will be a starting plate like this right there will be a starting plate like this so below that we are going to place a starting plate we are going to place a starting plate right so this is this is the scenario this is a scenario of the starting plate now what we are going to do right the electrode is going to touch there will be a multiple electrode we are going to touch and separate right now i am going to draw this is a 3d figure now i am going to draw a two dimensional figure this is what this is a electrode right this is what this is the electrode this is the electrode right this is the electrode now please see here please see here the same plate i am going to draw but i will draw in the two dimensional figure this is a two dimensional figure see here this is a two dimensional figure and at the base there will be a starting plate right and here this is the electrode when you touch and separate right so now there is a multiple electrode so i am going to take a different different color okay let's say this is the another one so similarly i am going to take some other electrode this is a another electrode here you can see right <coughs> see here right so here basically you will take a multiple electrode right so this is a multiple electrode number of electrode you can take so what is going to be happen a arc is going to be generated right a arc is going to be generated and they are going to be melt okay and the base plate are going to be what fused to each other so this is the this is a fusion zone this is a fusion zone as you can see so they are going to be what fused and the electrode are consumed slowly 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 right this is are going to be what fuse uh, this is are going to be fuse so this is a fusion zone right multiple electrodes are going to be fuse this is a molten metal and this is my dear this is my dear this is my dear liquid slag right this is the liquid pool this is what this is a liquid pool this is what this is the liquid pool and this is the slag right this is slag so this is here here this is the this is the thick slag so thick slag you know the thickness of slag the thickness of the slag is so much like 65 mm thick slag the thickness is what 65 mm right the thickness is too large because of too thick layer of the slag the cooling of the molten metal is very slow 
द कूलिंग ऑफ द मोल्टन मेटल इज वेरी स्लो माई डियर सिक्सटी फाइव एम एम डीप ऑफ मोल्टन स्लैग प्रोटेक्ट द मोल्टन मेटल राइट द सिक्सटी फाइव थिक स्लैग विच इज ऑफ सिक्सटी फाइव एम एम प्रोटेक्ट द वेल्ड प्रोटेक्ट द प्रोटेक्ट द प्रोटेक्ट द मोल्टन मेटल प्रोटेक्ट द मोल्टन मेटल प्रोटेक्ट द मोल्टन मेटल राइट एंड दिस इज वॉट दिस इज अ मोल्टन मेटल this is what this is the molten metal <coughs> now the slag is very thick the slag is very thick that's why cooling rate is what very slow cooling rate is very slow that's why heat will go heat will go into the base plate heat will go into the base plate so there is a chance so there is a chance that large heat affected zone large heat affected zone my dear large heat affected zone right large heat affected zone is going to be produces right large heat affected zone is going to be produces heat affected zone heat affected zone it is large because this molten metal is protected this molten metal is protected by the thick slag so where the heat will go into the base plate now to increase the cooling rate to increase the cooling rate we provide a jacket that is water cooled copper molding plate confine the liquid and moves upward with the welding so there will be what there will be let me write down let me write down let me take a different color <coughs> okay yes 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 yeah there will be a copper plate right there will be a water cooling jacket this is what a cooling jacket water cooled copper molding plate which increase the cooling rate is that point is clear so water cooled here this is what this is my dear water cooled this is water cooled water cooled right this is what water cooled copper molding plates copper copper molding plates copper molding plates this is water cooled copper molding plates right and here you can use a multiple electrode are used to provide an adequate supply of filler here we use multiple electrode right let me write down here we use multiple electrodes are used multiple electrodes are used okay multiple electrodes are used why we use to provide an adequate supply of filler to provide to provide an adequate to provide an adequate supply of filler supply of filler right so i hope this point is clear is there any doubt regarding this is there any doubt regarding this yes or no tell me yes or no tell me yes or no tell me yes my dear yes anybody has any doubt anybody has any doubt yes now i am going to discuss some defects right now i am going to discuss some defects right here i am going to discuss some defects so let's see some defects here some defects here here i'm going to see some defects please see welding design and defect welding design and defect welding design welding design and defects right welding design and defects 
my dear what are the defects defect number 1 defect number 1 which defect number 1 defect is cracking of weld cracking of weld right cracking of weld why cracking of weld metal why cracking of weld metal the cracking of weld metal because because the joint is what highly rigid highly rigid highly high joint rigidity my dear high joint rigid high joint rigidity right rigidity high joint rigidity right high joint rigidity this is the reason why joint rigid because of improper cooling right because of improper cooling next is cracking of the base metal right cracking of cracking of base metal right why cracking of base metal because excessive stress because of excessive thermal stress right because of excessive excessive thermal stress excessive stress excessive stress what are the stress basically thermal stresses defect number 3 that is what that is what arc flow or spatter spatter what is the meaning of spatter what is the meaning of spatter the weld pool which form at the weld joint it is spatter why because of arc flow because of arc flow right because of arc flow distortion my dear the next fourth one is what dis distortion right why distortion distortion because of distortion because of poor joint selection poor joint selection poor joint selection right poor joint selection uh, right slag inclusion number 5 slag in inclusion right when some time the joint size is large suppose that you are using you are joining a a, a large a large uh, you are filling a large notch notch is what a gap in which you fill the filler metal during the welding if the notch size is very large then you will pass multiple time right then you will pass the electrode okay in multiple passes and in the multiple passes if you are not cleaning the slag then the uh, slag will be okay mix in the fusion zone so improper cleaning in multi passes welding improper improper cleaning improper cleaning right improper cleaning in multi pass welding in multi pass in multi pass welding in multi pass welding my dear right sixth number sixth number that is a porosity right sixth number that is what porosity my dear porosity sometime what happened excessive hydrogen oxygen nitrogen in the welding atmosphere excessive excessive hydrogen nitrogen right hydrogen nitrogen oxygen in the welding atmosphere in the welding atmosphere and why these type of gases are produces my dear because the electrode is because the electrode is because electrode captured the atmospheric gases because electrode captured the atmospheric gases 
and if you use that type of electrode a damp electrode then it will produce the gases right because you are using damp electrode because the damp electrode because the electrode is what damp electrode because the electrode is what damp electrode what is the meaning of damp electrode the meaning of damp electrode is that in electrode there will be a lot of moisture lot of moisture and if you use that moistured electrode in the welding then the electrode will produce these type of what gases right any doubt anybody has any doubt yes anybody has any doubt yes please anybody has any doubt yes my dear student anybody has any doubt yes anybody has any doubt yes anybody has any doubt okay then okay so here i'm going to close this session right if nobody has any doubt or if you want then i will discuss some few more uh, welding that is uh, few more thing that is a brazing and soldiering right that is a brazing and soldiering let me discuss about the brazing and soldiering also right let me discuss about the brazing and soldiering right let me discuss about the brazing brazing and soldiering right brazing and soldiering brazing and soldiering my dear brazing and soldiering the technique of brazing and soldiering is similar the difference is that let me let me tell you the technique let me tell you the technique here the technique is similar what is the technique whether you talk about the brazing and soldiering there will be a base plate this and there is a another base plate this right this is my base plate this is base plate this is base plate right this is base plate this is base plate now my dear here we provide a filler metal there is a filler metal right there will be a filler metal now this filler metal we enter into this zone in the in the molten form but the difference is that here the melting temperature of the filler metal right filler metal this is a filler metal right filler metal filler metal now this filler metal will enter due to the action of capillary okay capillary action or capillary attraction because of capillary action the molten metal uh, fill into the gap right because of capillary action because of capillary action because of here this filler metal because of capillary 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 action filler metal filler metal fill fill in the gap in the gap right filler metal now here listen me carefully this is filler metal let's say this is a melting temperature of filler metal right and this is the melting temperature of base metal now listen the difference carefully now listen the difference carefully my dear right now listen the difference carefully which i am telling you okay difference in between brazing and soldiering here my dear here please listen the di uh, difference carefully here the temperature of the base plate right listen me carefully in brazing brazing is what brazing is a joining of metal through the use of heat and the filler metal whose melting temperature is here the filler metal we use the filler metal we use okay the filler metal we use the filler metal we use 
right its melting temperature is greater than 450 degree celsius but less than melting temperature of base plate am i right here melting temperature is above the filler metal melting temperature is above the 4 degree 450 degrees celsius 450 degrees celsius but less than melting temperature of base plate here the filler metal melting temperature melting temperature of the filler metal okay is less than right is less than the melting temperature of 450 uh melting temperature of what melting temperature of sorry less than what less than less than 450 degree celsius also also melting temperature of filler metal is less than melting temperature uh, of base plate this is the thing only right this is the difference basically so i hope you understand the concept in a very well manner so here i'm going to end the session thank you very much